All right, glad to welcome you to our newspaper review, a time we look at some of our national dailies and, of course, see what's trending. Uh, we have a, a public affairs analyst in the studio who is going to help us uh, to look at these uh, dailies, and he's uh, no other than Don, Dr. Dennis Ekemezi. Doctor, we're glad to welcome you in the studio. Thank you for inviting me. It's a All pleasure. Right. Yeah, good to have you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's draw on. You know how we do it here. We take, first of all, uh, stories from our uh, ABS website. Guna, can you take that? Uh, yes. Um, <clears throat> okay, um, that's it. Nigerians advised against election boycott. Obiana holds memorial service for parents at Aguleri. Ocha Brigade extols Obiano for providing logistics assures of efficient service. Obiano receives more commendations on youth empowerment employment. Now, lots of story making the headlines on our ABS website. website. Which would you want to talk? Well, all of them are very important and critical to state development and uh, uh, employment uh, creation. And, um, let me take first uh, the issue of boycott of election okay. in uh, 2019, which is uh, in a few months' time. Because the uh, when you are saying uh, 2015, it looks it like, so uh, yeah, just very close to uh, 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 the, the period of election we mm -hmm. would get held. And um, we should learn from history and then recall what happened to Ndibu, especially in that number uh, during the last census. Uh, 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 conduct uh, whereby some people were uh, uh, agitating for the boycott of uh, that census and uh, the outcome of it is that uh, we carefully and carelessly marginalized uh, uh, by not participating some of us not participating in that census and it has brought us down to a very low uh, uh, ebb in the population census of mm. this country and um, we should also recall that the uh, issue of election is a uh, that of aggregation of interest, and then a part of the subset of that politics of who, who gets what, when, and how. Mm -hmm. And if you boycott, you are not voting, you are not participating, then you have already personally, individually, and collectively alienated yourself from the process and mm -hmm. from the situation. So there is a need for prompt mobilization of uh, the people, it's not only in the Southeast, the entire Nigerians, to participate actively by voting people of credible integrity so that the nation will continue to move forward. Oh. All right, we'll come back to that. Just to let you know that um, you can actually call us and tell us what you feel about uh, what we're discussing. Of course, the newspaper headlines, what's trending around the country and the nation. The numbers are on your screen. Call us and tell us what you feel. Now, talking about the boycott election, um, we know that some few papers ago, last some few days ago, PDP were specifically like, they were going to boycott the elections because they have this feeling that APC is actually going to use their federal might come 2019. Well, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, let me say, is a, that of a party's interest. And then it is also a part of aiding their views, which is their constitutional uh, right, fundamental human rights for citizens to aid their view. When these uh, such views are aired, it's left for the entire stakeholders in the political process to go and uh, analyze what has been said and then be able to resituate the situation, especially the issues raised, so that they, those people, part of the family, will be accommodated in the Nigerian political uh, All right, I think we have to process. look at this. So we are not receiving more commendations on youth uh, empowerment and employment. Uh, employment before we quickly run for time. Yes, uh, there, there is a, a very nice... Uh, 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 indication and um, also let me use this opportunity to congratulate uh, the commissioner for youth uh, and uh, entrepreneurship mm. youth, uh, job creation and that of uh, his SSC on uh, social media digital uh, that organized uh, that forum at uh, St. Uh, Stanel um, Stanel uh, in Okaya, in Okaya yes. we are the, the, the week. youth entrepreneur week. We are okay. the youth we are grilled and drilled on importance of uh, assessing and uh, analyzing the and space uh, uh, cyber cafe for further developments. And also the indication the governor gave that about 10 of them will be moved to uh, Austria for 
for that training. engagement uh, and training. Uh, hello, good uh, morning. The commendation Sorry. is not coming let's, out let's, of... Let's take this interest. call. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Please, when you call us, try as much as possible to tune down the volume of your TV set so we can get to communicate and you get straight to the point. Let's quickly run. The Daily Sun... Okay, let's pick the Orient Daily right now. Uh, the story is making the headlines on the Orient Daily says, uh, killings may lead to religious war. That's coming from Gowon. Uh, nobody prays for war, actually. It's not a good thing, well, I thought. After hearing the story, not even seeing it. You know, PDP malt's name change. Uh, uh, that's uh, the banner headlines we have here with Irida. Our APC makes uh, seven strategic demands from Buhari. Uh, at the left corner, we have four month old baby consumed in Onicha candle fire. What a pity there. Uh, one killed, scored, injured as gunmen invade a state in Anambra. We wouldn't want to hear this. Uh, from Port Harcourt, from Garden City to Cages, one wonders what actually is going on here. Uh, 2019 election will not hold in 26 states. That's coming from Biafra Zionists. And I wonder what they mean by that. I, I think it's still part of what we're talking about. He was talking about uh, boycott warning election. Nigerians not to boycott the elections. And this one was coming from Orient Daily, Daily. this morning. Okay, moving on. Let's 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 talk about this. Let's just let's just speak a story and talk about um, the 2019 election. This one's coming from Biafra Zionist. You know, saying well, in 26 states they were specific. They said election will not hold in, in 26, 26 states. states, so they were specific. Hmm. Well, I've not uh, looked uh, analyzed it because you know the, the paper just came in and. Um, Twenty-six states. Which how many states are they controlling? Uh, that 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 story. Because you, you uh, get know it on the Zionist three. state of uh, whatever they call mm -hmm. them is uh, within the southeast, or maybe they have extension in other parts of the country. However, you will not overlook what they are saying, knowing the situation, the uh, political and uh, security situation in the country, where insurgency, this uh, issue of terrorism and Boko Haram incidents in other parts of the country. And then could could that we, be the reason why they are saying that? They may infer, given the indications that there, there are ter uh, serious threats in some of uh, uh, some states in the country, okay. so it could be an inference. All right, let's let's see um, the story making the Daily Suns this morning. Army kills scores of Boko Haram terrorists in Yobe State. Of course, we can't keep, we can't stop hearing about the Boko Haram. Sharia Council give gives tips on how to end insurgency. Now on top of Daily Sound this morning, NEMA issues flood alert on Anambra, identifies Zeke's Ekweme, Obiano's local government as high risk area. And beneath the sun this morning, Oshodi Apapa Expressway still blocked. Tax force freeze corridor on service lane from Sanya, Sanya bus stop. And AUGF, how FIRS DPR were overpaid $837 billion for revenue collection. And beside that story, NPO, BON media stakeholders reject press cancel bill, urge NAS to drop it. Under that story, lastly, in Gigito Shamale, you got your facts wrong on NSITF board. Mm -hmm. Stories making the daily sun this morning. Ami kills scores of Boko Haram terrorists in Yobe State. Sharia Council gives tips on how to end insurgency. Big story. Mm. We can stop hearing about Boko Haram. <laughs> uh, let me pick that up, Anambra, first because okay, cool. uh, the uh, yeah, I think cool. uh, I think Anambra State is call it gearing up. You know, getting set by the silting uh, most of our drainage. Yes, getting set for the uh, uh, Yes, the state government is trying its uh, best to overcome such challenges. However, the citizens, the, the indigenous of Anambra also should step up their uh, personal and collective uh, responsibility of a clean and healthy environment. You see, in At most least of, to complement what the government yes, is doing. Yes, in most of the, uh, the, the, the cities, in most of the, uh, 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 the towns, you see some of these uh, uh, indigenous uh, uh, throwing in All some right, let's of see their waste into the, the gutters and every other thing, and then blocking them also. And mm -hmm. uh, those building houses and others are also blocking the drainage system. So the state government will also 
step up uh, the issue of monitoring and, uh, and uh, clearing of uh, other parts of the states. Mm. All right. Uh, the, the, the banner headlines we have there, Ame killings cause of Boko Haram terrorists in Yobe. Well, the, it's the duty of the responsibility of the soldiers to uh, protect the nation. So it's not a, uh, that uh, news for it's me. It's a new thing. Yeah, it's <laughs> not a new thing. They are trained, they are paid, uh, it's and when they retire, they are also paid. It's their, it's their pure national assignment, and they should do it diligently without making noise. Let me use that word. <laughs> without making noise. All right, moving on. Uh, let's go to the next papers this morning. The Daily Times. The Daily Times. Mm. Uh, Okay, we have the banner headlines there. 2019, uh, what PDP offered Saraki, Tambuwal, others with riders there to provide level playing ground for defectors to vie for party's presidential ticket. Then reserves specific positions for them should they fail to get PDP tickets. Uh, down here we have Jam remits another 7.8 billion naira to federal government as examination surplus. NPO wants NAS to stop public hearing on Nigeria Press Council bill. I think we've seen that in the, next, the earlier paper. That's the sun. And now police dismiss four SARS personnel over armed robbery, uh, kidnapping. Investigation, NIMET, five NIMET Doppler readers others for casting equipment malfunctioning. Wow. <laughs> Lots of story making the mm. headlines. And, and one of the ones that actually touched me was police oh. dismissing says personnel over armed, armed robbery, robbery and kidnapping. Uh, but, but before are, then, I think we have to see this. To bank customers with BVN, now 33.95 million NIBS. Yeah, it shows that uh, they are cooperating with uh, the demands the of bank. uh, the banking system and then uh, the digital technology and then engagement in the economy and then the progress of the economy and then the progress of the people on the intellectual and the ICT level. Because you cannot do be BVM without being, uh, get, getting into I, I see, uh, uh, information and communication technology. Mm -hmm. So that is the digital. You are entering into the digital world and then uh, this uh, cyber sp uh, space for social marketing. Okay. Okay. okay the, the police case let's, let's the issue the there. Because if you go to Lagos, mm -hmm. for instance, it's it's the story you keep hearing is NSAS, hashtag NSAS, NSAS, NSAS. And now um, the police has dismissed some officers because of robbery, armed robbery and kidnapping. What hope do the, the citizens have? These are people who are supposed to be protecting, protecting the lives citizens. And property. Yeah, let me congratulate the citizens for making such demands, effective demands, putting notice to the authority that this is what we need, this is what we want you to do. And then you can see now from such a demand. Let's take this call. Hello, good morning. Good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Esther. I'm calling from Oko. You, you are? So Charles, so Charles. I'm bringing the calling in Cedar Polytechnic Oko. Okay, Charles from Oko. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I want to say something regarding to that uh, police dismissing staff. All right. Oh. Staff are doing something like that. You see, in our country, imagine what we are experiencing. Those that are supposed to be protecting us, they are not the one even punishing, working, and doing things that we don't expect. But my, I, I don't know if I should ask. These people, are they really dismissed? They may say they dismiss them today. Tomorrow, you may find them working. They will tell you that because they have solved the problem or one thing or the other. That's what I want to say in regard to that. Then the other one, Boko Haram, and Boko I just what our other said here. You don't even, if I'm going, I don't need, I don't need to pronounce that one. That is their job. Their duty is to protect the people in the country. They are to save our lives from this many times or whatsoever. All right. So Thank you. I want to say. Thank you. Very Thank much. you very much, Charles, for your yeah, contribution. Yeah. Let me finish that up, Charles, because right. uh, it shows. Uh, the recruitment faulty in the recruitment system of uh, the police and then deployment otherwise of, of why would we hear such a thing in this type of uh, 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 environment and then also uh, he said something but let me remind him that uh, the already committee has been set up they have been investigated and then they have been found guilty they have been dismissed with police force the next action is to 
prosecute them and then bring to book them to group. All right, All right time on. is not our friend. Let's move to the next paper this morning, the leadership. Um, so we're making the headlines. APC governors intensify moves to neutralize our APC. And they need that story. They are having sleepless night, our APC. We will leave APC with or without Saraki, says Baraje. Gang up against uh, PMB dead on arrival. That's coming from Masari. Press cancel bill, draconian will stifle media. That's coming from stakeholders. Jump remits another 7.8 billion naira to federal government. Troops repel Boko Haram attack on Yobe community. Talking about 2019 APC governors intensify moves to neutralize APC. Well, <laughs> it's part of that uh, garbage in, garbage out system in the political uh, equation of this country. And uh, remember that uh, most of them that uh, moved to APC uh, uh, came out from PDP. And then now back to, most of them have been demanded to come back to their father's house or maybe their mother's uh, house. And then uh, it's part of what I call the, in Igbo language, the Ogwebo system. You fight me today, tomorrow I fight you. Today is my turn, tomorrow is your turn. Do me, I do you. God knows the first. So the system needs to, one, to establish what we are, that uh, very critical element in the electoral system, the internal democracy. All right, let's All right, run, let's please, for want of time. The okay. Punch newspapers now. Uh, I think we have to take the rest of the papers, then we yeah. analyze. Uh, the banner headlines that says defection. Your intervention too late. Our APC tells Buhari with a rider there. I'll make my intention known soon. That's coming from Saraki. Uh, Saraki is the speaker of a uh, house of, uh, uh, sorry, the Senate. Senate. Yeah, the the Senate. Senate. Uh, All right. Uh, down here we have 2019. PDP calls emergency neck meeting <laughs> over coalition. And Oshun uh, permanent secretary son hangs self over field business. Boko Haram and Bush's troops again in Yobe, scores killed. Up the punch paper, we have uh, uh, Fashola spending taxpayers' funds on misguided projects. That's coming from this school. All right, let's move to the next report. Let's go to the, the next tribune. papers. Tribune defection, Buhari's intervention too late. Our APC underneath that story, Lagos removes over 2,000 trailers from roads after 72 hour operation, extends operation. Confusion, suspicion, trail new national career. Uh, that's uh, from the Tribune. Let's see what the Guardian has for us this morning. All right, the Guardian is a past 2019 polls under threat uh, from National Assembly presidency rift with rider budget implementation stalls, uh, stalls as rework begins. Up there we have media chiefs condemn Nigerian Press Council Bill 2018. And uh, we also have this one, PDP Executive Council meets over coalition uh, with other parties. Then listing of 10.7 billion green bond may woo huge diaspora fund. All right, in, 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 in 30 seconds, just yes. summarize. summarize. summarize something. Well, let me congratulate uh, the Jamba boss for the remittance he has made. It shows that he's a good citizen and let other people emulate him because in, in the past two years, he has already uh, moved into the economy, into the uh, federal coffer, almost uh, 15 billion naira. Hmm. And then see how it's going to help the federal government to cushion the economic uh, crunch in the country. Oh. And then others will emulate him because of his transparency, accountability, and stewardship. All right. Many uh, thanks. I, 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 I think, think that's the much we can take. <laughs> yes. And you really uh -huh. need to know more of the story. Just go out and pick the papers from the Punch Tribune. Lots of stories and get to know what's happening around the world. And that's how it's been for now. Join us at the other side of eight for our discussion. Don't we'll be right anywhere. back.